Hello everybody, my name is Ilya Sahnitko. I'm a Senior Marketing Manager of Duetti. Have you ever wondered how our products are being made? Well, today I will take you on a tour with me to our factory so that you can see how smoke components are turned into batteries and power station with your own eyes. Our factory is located in Huizhou, Guangdong, China, covering an area of 80,000 square kilometers with a total of 2,000 employees including 300 R&D team members, producing 3,000 power stations every day. Before going to the part where our power stations are made, we have to change the clothes to prevent ourselves from injuries from electricity and to prevent the products from dust. This clothes has anti-static wires inside that protect you from electricity. And here in the pocket we have a hat to also protect our ourselves from electricity. We ready? Oh, not yet. We have this disposable shoe covers right here. The clothes is reusable, but those are disposable. We have to put them on. No metal accessories allowed to protect bloody products from scratches. Let me take you on a tour to Bloody factory. Before going to the factory, we have to go through negative ion air shower room to remove static electricity from the clothes. Let's go! We are right now at a surface mount technology line. This is a blank printed circular board. When assembled together, it contains many vital components that are responsible for very important features like forming battery management system or converting solar energy into electricity and others. Now we are at dual inline package line. This is the place where the components are being assembled to PCBA. Those components could not be assembled by the robots, so they are being attached manually. Each worker is responsible for certain components, as you can see right here. Once the components have been attached to the surface area, we arrive to the first testing spot. This is the testing of the surface area of PCBA. This machine is welding the components to the PCBA. And after being welded, we are here testing the components and testing the backside area. And after having the backside area tested, we finally arrive at the test right here. This is the final test of PCBA and the components assembled. We have arrived to the PCBA test line. Here is where we install the software on PCBA. And then we have to activate it. And after activation, we test the PCBA software and various functions. And this is an FCT automatic PCBA test machine area. As the name implies, it works 100% by itself and its purpose is to install the software, to activate it and to test various functions. This is a conformal coding area where an additional layer of coding is being added to the PCBA's vital components to protect them from factors like salt mist, pollution, humidity and others. This is where we're testing whether the conformal coating and silicon sealant was applied correctly and evenly with an ultraviolet light. 
I'm holding a silicon sealant right here. This is what we're using to put on the components of PCBA to prevent them from loosening during transportation. This is the final step of putting the glue here. Now we have arrived at the cell selection area where the machines will sort the battery cells based on the capacity grade, internal resistance and the batch number. This is the area where negative and positive poles of the battery cells are being placed in the correct order to prevent the short circuit. And this machine is testing them automatically if everything was placed correctly or not. If everything goes well, it will give you an OK sign. Here, the assembled battery cells will be sorted depending on the capacity of the battery. This, for example, is the B300S battery cells, the capacity 3072 watt hours. So depending on the capacity of the battery, we will have different number of battery cells. So you might be wondering what happens after we put together the battery cells. Well, we still need to add the previously assembled PCBA on the top, a protective shell, and this wire that connects the PCBA and the battery cells. This is the battery pack aging test, where the batteries are being fully discharged and then charged twice to test how much time each process takes. We have arrived to the assembly line. This one is a 3072 watt hour B300S. You probably already recognize it and we launched it on September of 2022. This is where the additional layer is being added on the top and it decides to protect it from fire and pollution and other factors. This is the B300S that you probably saw on our live streams and on the website. Let me take you to the ATE test area. This is the area where the input and the output of each power station is being tested. On the screens you can see V stands for voltage, I stands for amperage and P stands for wattage or load. If everything is correct you will see color green and if there is an error or something goes wrong you will see other colors. Here you can take a look, we are testing the wireless charging pad on the top. It's rated at 15 watts and right now it's showing 14.915, so it's correct. It's going to be green and it's going to move on to the next step. This is the packaging line where we stick these labels on our portable power station. So you can see all the information about our product. And our employees here are checking if there is any scratches or anything like this. After this, we package our portable power stations, we add all the accessories that we need and send it to the quality check. Let me take you to the testing area that I find to be particularly interesting. Here is where we're simulating the vibration that will occur during transportation over the sea. To make sure the components are well put together and will not loosen. Do you guys remember how many quality checks they've done so far? I don't. And yet, here is our final inspection area where our quality check specialists randomly pick up a certain ratio of units to test if everything is okay. So we make sure that we lower our mistakes as much as possible and you receive what you're paying for. I am right now in a bloody coffee shop that is located inside the factory area. Thank you guys for following us on this factory tour and I hope to see you next time.